black and mild jazz. We have the Black and Mild Jazz. Uh, I got a box of these, so I didn't pay 79 cents. Uh, got them from Gotham Cigars. Yeah, those guys are really cool over there. Check them out. So yeah, basic pack design. You get a little pipe. You get a little pipe right there. Black and Mild Jazz, 79 cent. And then that's uh, really just about it. Uh, you get the Surgeon General on there. And that is that's it for the pack design. Not much there at all. So uh, let's go ahead and bust this cellophane off and uh, see what happens. All right, that's, uh, there we go. These are the plastic tips, by the way. All right. <clears throat> nice deep, rich looking uh, tobacco there. Is that even going to focus? There we go. Nice, deep, rich looking tobacco. Smells really good. I can already smell it out of the package. Got a blunt style paper with a glue strip down the side. Uh, yeah. A little bit of that cellophane stuck on there. Alright. So, yeah. Mmm. Smells good. Smells like uh, some kind of like, uh, smells kind of fruity. Mmm, really strong, strong smell coming off this. Uh, I'm gonna go on ahead and take a take a dry pop off this and uh, see what it tastes like dry. Mmm, sweet and tip. And it's almost like a berry type of flavor. It's different, a little bit different. I uh, like it though. Mmm. <laughs> All right, this is good. Looks good, smells good. I had this in my pocket and I think I accidentally kind of bent it a little bit, so that's my bad on that. All right, let's get this fired up. See uh, what kind of flavors we got. <laughs> Crack the window. It's nice and cool out today. It's 76 degrees out. Right off the light, that draw on the light there, sweetness. That's all I get. Sweetness, a little bit of that berry flavor. This is about it. Let's go ahead and take a pull of this. See what happens. Or see what we get. Not really anything gonna happen. <laughs> Big body. <laughs> it's all kind of just sitting there in a cloud. Woo, I like that. All right. Wonderful flavors, actually. This is really pleasant. Short finish. It's already going away. Actually, it's already completely gone. Real short finish. Massive body. I like that. Turning the air conditioner back on. All right. Really cool, really cool. I like the flavors of this already. Not bad, not bad at all. So, we get uh, sweetness off the sweetened tip, which is nice. It mixes well with, uh, I don't want to say bitter, more than I want to say kind of like a bold, fruity kind of a taste. It's like a berry, like a like a mixed berry kind of a taste. It's kind of, kind of difficult to explain. Uh, it's not bad though, I like it. Yeah, okay. Took that one more time. Mm. All right, 
So now, there we go, there's some different flavors now. All right, so we get a little bit of the berry, and the sweetness off the tip. It's a, like a sugary sweet, not like a syrupy sweet, but more like a little bit of a sugary sweet. By syrupy sweet, I mean super intense, just right in your face, no other flavor but the sweetness. It's not like that, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. It's, it's a mild sweetness that blends really well with the flavors that are coming off of this. Uh, yeah, basically like a mixed berry type of flavor with a real nice, thick, chewy smoke. And you get, it's, all, it's almost up to a medium body, almost. Just because of how thick the smoke is and how it just coats the palate. Uh, yeah, mild to medium, great flavor, nice berry flavor coming through. And it's mixing well with the mild, the milder tobacco flavors coming in on the finish, which is which is there until the next draw. It's not bad. I do think this is the the, the flavors coming off of this is definitely an acquired kind of a taste. I think I don't think anybody could really just pick one of these up and be like, oh, I like it. I think you definitely have to kind of acquire this kind of taste, or you either love it or hate it. I like this. This is good. I, like I said, I got a box of them. I got like a like a thirty. A little box of 30 from Gotham. Those guys are really cool. Check them out. And it's actually really nice. All right, so I'm going to take a pull of this, blow it out through the nose, and uh, see how that goes. That's weird. Mm. Excuse me. Ah. All right. All right. Don't. I don't. Okay. Yeah. I got. I didn't get no sweet sweetness through the uh, the retro hail there. I got bolder flavors. I got some bolder berry type flavors. That's the, uh, the neighbor. I got some uh, bolder berry type flavors coming through. It almost tasted kind of like, like a campfire. A little bit like a campfire coming through the nose. Wasn't well, bad, it was just a little bit different. Interesting. Let's check that body again. Take a nice, uh, slow, cool pull and uh, really get a mouthful of the smoke. Let it sit in there for a second and see what kind of flavors we're getting out if this is heated up. This uh, this almost tastes, it almost tastes like a type of cologne or a perfume, just a little bit. Uh, I could definitely see how someone could mistake this this fruity berry kind of a flavor for a perfumey kind of a taste slash flavor. That would not be hard to do with this little guy right here. Uh, I like it. It's mild. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, a little bit stronger than the apple. Actually, no, you know what? This one and the apple, it's about the same. About the same as far as the taste and how it uh, stays on to the finish. It's not too bad. I like this. All right, so let's jump into the ratings on this right away. There's not much else to say about this other than give it a try. It's not too bad. I like it. I would smoke this at nighttime. Personally, for me, I could see this flavor profile uh, fitting me very well for the nighttime. Uh, so jump into the ratings on this. Uh, You know, all right, uh, construction. Construction, smokeability, experience, and the burn. We're gonna go on ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give them, uh, you know, with these machine made cigars, it's always gonna burn almost perfect. That's how it is. So I'm gonna go on ahead and give it a 10 out of 10 for burn, smokeability, and experience. This is a pretty cool experience. 
You did, this is definitely one though I can see that you definitely want to smoke slow. You do not want to make this sucker hot and breathe in any type of, breathe in. Uh, take a drag, take a hot drag or a pull off of this because it's not going to taste good. I already know it. It's just, it'd be a horror story. So you want to take a draw every 30 seconds to a minute. A nice slow cool pull. I know you get the best flavors out of this. Uh, yeah. Don't smoke it hot, smoke it cool, and it's gonna be enjoyable. All right, let's check the body, give that a rating. All right, massive body, I like it. The bigger the body, the better for me. Body's definitely gonna get an eight out of 10. I like that. Mm, excuse me. It's thick. It's nice. Does its job. Eight out of ten on the body. No problem there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Pick yourself up one of these. Uh, I think you can get these. Actually, the ones to try. The ones that I found out the best for the jazz. Get the ones in the uh, the foil. The two packs in the foil. They're a little bit stronger flavor than this, and the experience is a little bit better. To smoke. But uh, yeah, if all you can find is these. Give it a try, see what you think. Just make sure they're somewhat pliable in the cellophane, because if they're dry, not gonna taste good. You smoke them hot, not gonna taste good. So yeah, get these fresh in the foil, and yeah, practice and enjoy.